Today we're eating our way through our new Wilds of Eldorade standard format with a deck that just might be the best new aggro deck in the format, Green White Cookies. So here is our cookie aggro deck, and uh, this deck I think is actually super duper sweet. It sounds absurd to say, but cookies might actually be like one of the best aggro decks in standard. So we are green, white, artifact, aggro, plus one, plus one counter, cookie tribal. We got Sir Ginger, we got Tough Cookie, we got Ginger Brew, all the cookie cards. Not for meme purposes, but because they're legitimately great in the deck. So how is our deck trying to win? We are trying to grow massive artifact creatures with plus one plus one counters super duper early in the game. And the way we do this is really with three key cards. So we have a bunch of artifact creatures. We have stuff like Teething Wormlet, which just naturally gets big. Uh, patchwork Automation gets big as we cast artifacts. But the real payoffs here are the synergy between Ozilus Shattered Spire in Artifact Standard Legal Hardened Scales. Puts an extra counter on things whenever we put a counter on things. So we have that with Yotan Dissonant, which is whenever Artifact ETBs, we get to put a plus one plus one counter on a creature. Uh, so that's going to be two counters with Ozilus. And if you look at our deck, it's literally all artifacts. We got Teething Wormlet and Dissonant as our only non-artifacts in the deck. And then Agatha's Soul Cauldron, which is sneakily just like absolutely busted and by far my favorite card in the deck. Exiles creatures from the graveyard to put a counter on something. Two counters with Ozilus. So it's another way to get counters on things. Also, intriguingly, it gives all of our creatures with plus one, plus one counters the activated abilities of the Exiled cards. And this might sound like a weird throwaway thing, but it's actually absurd in our deck. What this means is we can Exile a Skrell and since our deck is so good at putting counters on all of our stuff, all of our creatures will have Skrelv's protection ability. We can exile Ginger Brew. All of our creatures will have Ginger Brew's pseudo unblockable one mana ability, which gets really scary when our Sir Ginger or our massive patchwork automation is just hitting for like 10 unblockable damage because it's actually a Ginger Brew. It can exile Tough Cookie to give us the artifact animation, turn it into a 4 4 ability. Can also just exile stuff like Sir Ginger so we can sack our stuff to gain life if we get desperate. And that's a essentially the plan of the deck. Play a bunch of artifacts, play as many cookies as possible, make the cookies as big as possible, and kill our opponent super, super quickly with this huge burst of artifact plus one plus one counter damage. So I'm going to stop rambling. The deck is really sweet. I think it actually might be legit, as absurd as cookie aggro sounds, but it might actually just be a real standard deck. But anyway, let's just get into the game so you can see it in action. If you need some cookies, you can snag them from our sponsor Card Kingdom over at cardkingdom.com. Gob slash MTG Goldfish. All right, it is new standard time, and uh, we're playing some <laughs> gingerbread, gingerbread aggro, <laughs> cookie, cookie tribal. <laughs> <laughs> what a world we live in. What a world we live in. This hand actually looks very good. Well, let's brush land and ginger brew. Can't stop me. I'm the gingerbread man. Oh, uh, yeah. Let's get down the dissident, I think. Dissonant was a card I was really on the fence whether it'd be worth playing in this deck, but it is so worth playing in this deck. Opponent, Rakdosing. Are we getting shielded? Are you shielding us, opponent? Shield grid did? Shield ride. Nah, right, whatever. Our opponent is probably playing it. Charming Scoundrel. Sweet. Makes a treasure to ramp into Shieldred. <laughs> uh, well, let's play the Foundry. I think we just play Tough Cookie here. We don't have anything in either graveyard for this old cauldron. And, yeah, let's grow the Dissident and grow the Ginger Brew. Get in and hit ya. Down to 14. Oh, so many cool synergies. That card's so sweet. Opponent land and blood tithe. Havista. All right, so it looks like Rakdos midrange, I guess. Makes a blood. And Lord Skitter's Blessing, spicy. Grows the blood tithe. Oh, how big can we make our team? Another tough cookie. So if we play tough cookie, can we grow our team big enough to attack with everything? Or are we just ginger brooding? Hmm. So if we grow the ginger brew, we make a food. We grow, I think we're just going all in on the ginger brew here. Play a soul cauldron. Grow the ginger brew. Pwn it. All right, goes with the chumping plan. So they can kill something with Blood Tithe Harvester, I guess. They also get a Lord Skitter's Blessing draw. So opponent goes to 13. 
I mean, we got a we got Cookie Tron though. Ginger Brute, two tough cookies. <laughs> Opponent, Godric. All right. I mean, I think Godric's a really good card. Spiteful Hex Mage. So opponents like Rakdos Roll Aggro. Interesting. So they're probably have to stay on defense with Godric. Godric does have haste, right? So that is actually something that can block the Ginger Brute. Opponent. Wow. All right. Gonna stay frisky. Hits us to 12. Well, let's see what we draw here. We can also tough cookie to uh, turn on a food. Yeah, let's eat the Charming Scoundrel. Wow, that's a pretty good draw. Glass Casket. Get rid of the Blood Tithe Harvester. Wait, is our opponent dead now? Can we just kill them? So we take one from the Wicked roll. If we play another Soul Cauldron, we Legend rule, but we get triggers. We can grow the Dissident, go attacking. How much damage is this? So if our opponent blocks four, five, six, seven, eight, not. Wait, did they not block? Wow. Okay. <laughs> Bonnet cannot beat the cookies. Cannot. Yes, we did have very much fun that match. <laughs> cookies OP. Cookies OP. All right. New standard time. We are playing some uh, green, white, green, white gingerbread. Cookie, cookie, cookie deck. Cookies dot deck. <laughs> cookie tribal. That sand looks good. Probably turn one screll, turn two dissonant. That seems like. Seems like the best play. We'll see what we draw. And then we can Glass Casket Ginger Brute, get a bunch of counters on the ginger. On the Ooh. Sir Ginger. Does that change things? I don't think so. Let's get down the dissident. Dissident's a card I think is actually way better in this deck than I expected. We have a lot of artifacts and we have a lot of counter synergies. Gala greeters, eh? Sure. Ah, oh, that might change our plans. So we insert Ginger Ginger Brew. We could also just get rid of the Gallic Reader. Yeah, let's just play the creatures. What's a single Gallic Reader gonna do? Grow the Sir Ginger, play a Ginger Brew. Grow the Ginger Brew. It's a lot of power on the battlefield on turn three. Get in and hit ya. And then next turn we can, worst case, Glass Casket. To get rid of something. This does probably give our opponent a Gala Greeter trigger, but eh, one, all right, another Gala Greeter. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow, gain, okay. Gains to life. Well, I guess that kind of makes sense. We are pretty aggro. What do we find? Ooh. Simeon Simulacrum. I think we can kind of just play through one Gala Greeters, but two can do some pretty scary things. Let's grow the Dissonant. We want to be able to attack with as much as possible and get in for eight and we still have scrawled for protection if our opponent does find removal so opponent goes to 12 and opponent i don't even know needs a needs something impactful this turn found it got a repulsion forest oh scrawled okay yeah that is not the card our opponent they can't even block it, do, it doesn't make a creature dull opponent's next upkeep and the creature can't block anyway and they have to take damage off it yeah that's that is exactly what our opponent did not need here. I don't know if we can actually kill our opponent this turn because they can jump. Ash Party Crasher. Are we gaining life? Gain, gain life is like the least impactful mode, but our opponent's just kind of stuck with it because, <laughs> because our cookies are so tasty. Another Skrelv. Hmm. We might be legend ruling the Skrelv. Let's see. Let's play the Simulacrum first. Grow Sir Ginger. Grow the Ginger Brew. So we can Legend Rule Scralve just to get a trigger. Keep the Scralve. Grow the Dissonant. Ooh, ooh, and a Soul Cauldron. I don't even know if our opponent's going to be alive long enough to get to the Soul Cauldron, but get in there with the cookies. Wait, are you... Okay, and opponent dies. <laughs> I mean, I guess our opponent figured they couldn't win. <laughs> couldn't win anyway. They could have jumped, though. Yeah, I mean, cookies, pretty tasty. Pretty tasty in Wilds of Eldraine Standard. Next up, 
Some more cookies. You never have too many cookies. Ooh. This thing has no white mana, so we can't screlve, but I think that's fine. Teething Wormlet's a card we haven't really seen yet. Teething Wormlet's funny. I think that's... It's not an artifact, but it's so synergistic in our deck that I think it's worth it anyway. We we have a lot of plus one, plus one counter synergies that we haven't seen. Opponent. Ooh. Aggro on the play. Okay, how do we do against an aggro deck? Also, team, Teething Wormlet does gain life, which is relevant. Opponent double phases. Sure. Well, let's play the Foundry. Yeah, let's... Speaking of counter synergies, let's play Ozolith. Triggers Wormlet, gains a life, double counters, hits you for three. And we found our white mana, which is good. Opponent. Taking up, taking up. Tangled Colony. Okay. If that could block, it might be an issue. Ginger Brute. So if we play Skrelv, we grow the Wormlet up to five power. Yeah, let's Soul Cauldron. So we play Soul Cauldron. Go to combat. Opponent can't block. So hit ya. Let's just get in for five. Hit our opponent down to 11. Opponent, play with Fire the Skrelv. Well, now we can actually use Cauldron to save Skrelv here. <laughs> I don't know what we're doing with the Skrelv since it can't block, but, uh... The protection is relevant. All right, opponent's gonna flip their sagas, sure. So opponent actually has blockers now. Lord Skitter's blessing. Yep, that's our opponent's last card for now. Gets in, gets in. Opponent's at ten. Is there a way we can win? So if we, let's think about this. So if we play Ginger Brew, this goes up to seven power. Oh my god, I think we can... <laughs> so if we... So we can sack Ginger Brute to its ability to get it in the graveyard. Soul Cauldron. Two more counters up to nine power. I mean, I guess we can do this in a bunch of different ways. I think we can just kill our opponent. Let's do this because it's the coolest way to do it. We could just uh, activate Ozolith as well, but... <laughs> Let's Ginger Brute. Counters on the Wormlet. Skrelv, make it so our opponent can't block, and this is like a turn four. This is a turn four kill. This is just straight up a turn four kill. Hit you for nine with the Wormlet, and then Lord Skitter's Blessing. Last one. <laughs> well, uh, cookies. Too, too strong. Too strong for Rakdos. Maybe this deck is actually good. All right. It is new standard time, and we are playing some, uh, some Celesnia gingerbread aggro. <laughs> it sounds absurd, but I think this deck might actually just kind of be busted. Uh, wow, it's a lot of, a lot of ginger brutes, a lot of ginger brutes. Ginger brutes are good, though, and they work hilariously well with Aegis of Soul Cauldron. Soul Cauldron might just be the best card in this entire set, as weird as that sounds. Well... Get in with the Ginger Brute. Opponent. Takes the beats. We gotta play Patchy. I hope they don't have a counter. That would be annoying. The downside of losing the die roll. Oh. Okay. I mean, that's fine. We actually don't mind that in the graveyard because we can use it with Soul Cauldron. Opponent. Promo Seed Shark. Huh. Let's just play Egg of the Soul Cauldron. Get a counter. And pass the turn. The Iron Craig. Yup, and passing. All right, let's uh, exile the ginger brew. Counter on the patchy. Skrelv. Well, we will play Skrelv. Grow the patchy. Play ginger brew. Grow the patchy. And five ya. About it out of thirteen. All right, transforms. Sure. So remember. All of our things... Oh, they're playing Food Fight, Spicy. All of our things with counters have... Ooh, there's green mana too. All right, play the land. How do we do this? All of our things with counters have Ginger Brute's ability. Pony has two mana up. Let's play a Tough Cookie. Go to combat. Attack, attack. All right, let's uh, make this unblockable. 
We're okay with the ginger brew dying. Yeah, that uh, that is actually a ginger brew. <laughs> Egg of the Soul Cauldron kind of busted. All right, opponent blocks, drops to seven. All right, like, can you kill the Patchy through the Skrelv? Or is the fact that this is actually a ginger brew just lethal? So they can sack an artifact to the food fight to hit the Skrelv and then try to use a removal spell on the Patchy? Egg of the Soul Cauldron is way, way better than I expected. Like, it, this card is so good. Opponent. Thing and counting. Like, it also works with Skrelv. So if our Skrelv dies, we can exile Skrelv. All of our things turn into Skrelvs. Like, it's kind of ridiculous. Opponent gonna go attacking. Um, yeah, I think we block with the tough cookie here. We'll just let it go. We drop to 12. Opponent going to pass. Well, I mean, Soul Cauldron. Exile a tough cookie. Grow the patchy. Untap. What am I missing? Is this not just lethal go to combat i mean i guess we just go for it get in with patchy is there an answer what is the answer i'm not thinking of <laughs> we got a scrub we have ward memory daily which that doesn't actually matter i don't think opponent grabs a couple cards and oh i mean if they're on that plan we just make this unblockable again uh sure how about you be a ginger brew <laughs> Egg of the Soul Cauldron, kind of busted. <laughs> it's so good. Uh, this hand, we're on the draw. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. We'll have to decide. We'll see if we draw land. Actually, land is probably our best draw here. Oh, we do draw land, all right. So in that case, we will Teething Wormlet. The question's gonna be, what do we play next turn? Opponent, Hunted Ridge. All right, they kill the Wormlet. Well... If they're killing the worm, I think we just got to play the patchy here. Play the patchy past the turn. About it, Haunted Ridge. Lord Skidda. Okay, that is a good card. Well, play a farmland. Play a Ozolith. Play a Ginger Brute. And do we even attack? They could double block. I think we just stay on defense this turn. Opponent, Durant. Oh. Oh, non-human creature. Okay, so it can grow the rats. All right, gnawing vermin. Sure. Mills and mills. When this dies, target creature you don't control gets negative one, negative one until end of turn. All right. Opponent's going to sack it to draw some cards. Kills the patchy. Unfortunately, they can exile it with this Lord Skitter. That is annoying. Another gnawing vermin. Yeah, the graveyard hate of this Lord Skitter is definitely obnoxious. Oh, no, we could have attacked last turn, couldn't we? Because the rat can't block, duh. All right, opponent makes another rat, keeps exiling the graveyard. Come on, not the ginger brew. Ugh, all right. Exiles the ginger brew. Well, we draw a tough cookie. So we get to, let's see, play the land. Play Sir Ginger. Grow the patchy. Play Agatha Soul Cauldron. Grow the patchy. Attack. So if our opponent tries to block and kill the Sir Ginger... We can Soul Cauldron to put counters on it to keep it alive. Uh, so, yeah, we'll exile the Sir Ginger. Put some counters on the Sir Ginger. And, I mean, this is the power of this deck. Look at how big our stuff is. It is really big. Like, I think this deck might actually be strong. I know I, I don't like making sweeping proclamations on early access day, but my goodness, this deck has potential. Like, I actually think this could be the best aggro deck in standard Tangled Colony. So opponent's playing a bunch of rats. The problem for our opponent is we're just making massive creatures. What we really need is actually just a ginger brute to make our stuff unblockable. That's like the last missing piece of this puzzle. Opponent. The good news is we get to just keep smacking our opponent. About it, bosses. Mishra's Foundry. Well, play Mishra's Foundry. Play a tough cookie. Grow the patchy make a food and then how do we want to do this let's put some counters on sir ginger go to combat attack you opponent blocks you for seven all right gonna sack it to draw some cards so opponent takes seven down to 13. they only have one creature that can actually block here like their board is big all right that can also block that's a little scary just because of the toxicness. Another Lord Skitter. Thankfully legendary. 
Opponent combat makes a rat. And gonna do some attacking. Well, we will block a rat, take our beads. Down to 13 for now. Yeah, the toxicity here is the biggest issue. Um, eat an awing vermin. Counters on tough cookie. Another tough cookie. Huh. Well, let's play a tough cookie. Grow the dorks. So opponent has to block patchwork. If they don't block Sir Ginger, do they die? We need them to have to double block because we got to get rid of those Kermonics. So 9, 10, 11, I think this works. So go to combat. Attack with everything. If our opponent doesn't block everything, they're going to die. If they do block everything, then at least they don't have Toxic. Because I don't think we're going to die to damage here, but I am worried about dying to poison counters. Lord Skitters look good. Look better than I, than I would have thought. The Graveyard Heat's good. There's a lot of synergies for the tokens. It's actually pretty good. I think it might show up in the like top tier black decks. Opponent blocks. You gotta block another one. You gotta block another one. If you don't, you are choosing death. Oh, opponent. Well, they could have removal, I guess. Looks to me like they're choosing death. Um. So, grow the tough cookie? And kill ya? Okay. Well. <laughs> Sometimes they choose death. I'm telling you, this deck I think is actually just really strong. All right, we are playing some uh, gingerbread aggro, and this hand looks pretty good. Actually, this hand looks kind of great. Uh, so we get to play Teething Wormlet into Sir Ginger. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Arena. Uh-oh. All right, hang on. <laughs> Can we restart before we time out? That is the question. Unfortunately, this is happening on turn one, so there's no timeout saved up. If we skip our turn here, we just lose. Hurry up, arena. Hurry up, arena. All right. Uh, so, play a land. Put on play Sleep Curse Fairy A. Uh, so, we will, I guess, just play Sir Ginger. Grow the worm. Go attacking. All right. Are we better than fairies? That is the question. Found it. Schwamp and passes. Well, play a forest. Play another worm. Play a tough cookie. He has some triggers. And are we okay with search injured dying? I think so. Attack, attack. There's the flash. Yeah. There's a couple of flash fairies. Opponent's going to flash it in. I mean, this is fine. We are the aggro here. Oh, uh, it. Take Numa and Ego Drain to take the glass gasket. Sure. Opponent passes. Well, we will. Let's see. Play Mishra's Boundary. Turn our food into a 4-4. Four, four. And swing with everything. A opponent, Fairy Mastermind. Sure. I mean, this is a lot of damage, though. So opponent's down to 6. A opponent, Underground River. Passes. Well, we will play a Forest. Fire up a Foundry. Go attacking. Urtai. Going after what? Well, okay, going after the Foundry, so we will... Tap it for mana. Draw a card. Ooh, more lands. Okay. Well, fire up the foundry. Go attacking. Found it. Blocks. Drops to two. Can we close it out? So their fairy finally untapped. Opponent. Wow, we are we are running pretty horribly here. I will admit that. I will admit. Uh, play the land, and I think we just passed this turn actually. We have drawn an absurd number of lands here. Going to kill the worm. Well, let's make a mirror because we might as well gain a life while we can. Yeah, we have just like max flood mode. A bonnet untaps. Passes. Well, let's play Ozolith. Wow, another Urtai. Sure. <laughs> to kill the might. Well, play a land. And, yeah, I mean, I guess we just pass about it. I mean, we can, again, make two lethal threats. Wow. Okay. I wonder what's in our opponent's hand. That is an aggressive attack. Well, we will Mirix. Untap. We will play the land. Do we go for it is the question, or do we keep waiting? I think we pass one more turn. There's too many ways we can get blown out this turn. So we're not even going to attack with the might. We're just going to pass. I think next turn is the turn that we're going for it. Opponent, Fairy Vandal. Untaps. 
ego drain. Um, sure. Takes a glass casket. Opponent goes to combat. Gets in. All right, the clock is slowing. Well, we will make a Mirix token. Cycle the Ozolith. Untap, draw even more Ozoliths. Well, let's play Teething Wormlet. And yeah, I think we pass one more, one more time. Next turn, next turn. Go for the throw. This would be an impressive win considering how many lands we've drawn. All right, make a might gain a life. Opponent adapts. I mean, eventually this mites, these mites are gonna get them, right? Like very slowly, but eventually. Uh, wow. Okay. That's desperation. That's desperation. That's death, I think. Opponents at one. They cannot take any damage here. Very dream theft. I mean, that's. This is definitely death, right? I guess I could have land removal. Uh, about it. Goes attacking. Aren't they just dead by doing this? Uh, cycle. Ozolith. Draws Skrelv. Untap. I mean, don't we just fire up Mishra's Foundry and kill you? Yeah, it looks like to me, opponent with the GG. I don't know why we can't emote, but that's fine. Why can we not emote? <sighs> All right, sorry, opponent. Good game, good game, opponent. Well, still undefeated. <laughs> that was an awkward game too. Like we got off to an okay start, but then we just drew a huge string of lands in a row, but the deck actually just doesn't care because the deck is kind of busted. <laughs> <laughs> I I am coming around to this deck being real. I'm coming around to what a world. What a world in 2023. Wilds of Eldorain Standard. Imagine. Imagine a world where Gingerbread Aggro is the best deck in standard. I can see it. I don't know. I'm not saying this is the best deck in standard, but it's not absurd that this could actually be a real like top tier deck. Could you imagine? Could you imagine the just absurdity of that? <laughs> absolutely absolutely love it. I love it. Sir Ginger. Ooh, okay. So this hand's a little awkward because we have two tap lands, but other than having two tap lands, this hand's pretty good. Okay, three three tap lands, come to think of it. Well, play another tap land past the turn. Skrelv is nice. Skrelv is a nice way to start off concealing curtain for our opponents. Well, let's play overgrown farmland, and yeah, I think we just play dissident here. Our opponent can flip their concealing curtains if they want to. Voldaring Thrillseeker, sure. Gonna back up the wall and pass. Well, we get to play a Wormlet, play a Murex, play Ozolith, grow the Dissident, grow the Worm, pass the turn. Uh, opponent Haunted Red, sure. Even more curtains. All right, gonna kill the Skrelv for now. Well, we'll just give this pro black. Opponent passes. Uh, so let's play a Skrelv. Grow Dissident. Play Sir Ginger. Grow the Worm. Hit you for seven. <laughs> All right, let's see if our opponent has a Wrath. Let's see if they have a Wrath. Do you have a Sweeper? Vorinclex. All right. I think we can get around Vorinclex. Unfortunately, our hand is just Ozolith, which isn't great, but over on farmland. Uh, so let's see. One, two. Let's cycle. Do we cycle this Ozolith? Actually, maybe Legend Ruling's better, come to think of it. I think we actually Legend Rule it. All right, let's Legend Rule the Ozolith. Because that's going to trigger Sir Ginger. Yeah, let's intentionally legend rule. Grow Dissident. Grow Ginger. Put a Ginger to the bottom. Play the land. Grow Sir Ginger. Go to combat. Attack, attack, attack. Yeah, get in with everything. See what our opponent does. Opponent, you're gonna block Dissonant and block Sir Ginger. All right. So opponent goes to 11, pass the turn. Do you have a Wrath? Cami of Whispered Hopes. Okay, maybe they go infinite or something? I get the Soul Cauldron. There's no untapper in the graveyard though, right? And this is summoning sick. Opponent gonna exile Sir Ginger. How does this 
allow them to live though. All right, apparently the answer is it does not. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm telling you, Sir Ginger. <laughs> gingerbread, gingerbread cookies at the top of standard. Yeah, that seems fine. A little awkward that we don't have any white mana, but Wormlet into Ozolith into Sir Ginger is, it's a clock, that's a clock. And if we ever draw the white mana for Dissonant, Dissonant was a card I was on the fence about. Like, is it actually worth, is it actually worth it? Cause it's not an artifact. The synergy is so good with the, with the Ozolith though that it is. All right, Pona actually has some removal, eh? Well, in that case, let's play Apache. Pass the turret. So opponent's probably playing a Spell Slinger deck. Opponent, tap land. Well, there's white mana. How do we want to do this? Yeah, let's just play Ozolith. Grow the Apache. Hit ya. About it. Kind of want one more land. One more land would be fine. Opponent, Storm Car Ghost, and runs out the Frolicking Familia. Hmm. Well, let's play Agatha's Soul Cauldron. Go to combat, attack ya. Man, I mean, we're gonna do it. Getting in for six is appealing enough. Our opponent could like have a bounce spell, I guess would be their best option. Not being able to play two cards a turn is kind of annoying here. All right, so opponent does have a bounce spell. The bad news for opponent is this kind of eats away their entire turn. Can we draw a land? No, glass casket. Uh, well, okay, Patchy returns then, sadly. About it. Have we finally met our match? Are we gonna get our first loss? We've drawn all the two drops, but not enough lands to deploy them. Scalding Viper, sure. And a tap land. And a questing druid is a creature. Well, there's a land. Okay, that's good. So play a Ganjo. Now let's do it this way. Let's play Dissident. Take a damage. And then play Sir Ginger. Grow Patchy. Take a damage, put a counter on Surge Ginger, get in with Patchy. Opponent down to nine. All right, this is the big turn. What answers does our opponent have? What answers do they have? Opponent. Okay, gonna bounce the Surge Ginger. And Tempest Heart. All right, so opponent's gonna sling some spells. If they're too aggressive here though, I think they die. So our opponent probably can't attack with everything. They don't know about the Glass Casket either. Bone at land. Combat. Attacks. Attacks. Well, we will eat a hearth elemental. Grow the dissident. Take our beats. We're going for the win. We dropped a six. We are going for the win this turn. Can we pull it off? All right, Scalding Viper. We draw Patchy. Hmm. I don't think we can quite. Can we get lethal? Not quite. So we play a glass casket. Take two. Get rid of a, oh, it's so risky. Get rid of a scalding viper. Grow the patchy. Go to combat, attack you. Opponent has to block. Play another patchy. Pass the turn. All right, do you have two spells? Do you have two spells? Extraordinary journey. <laughs> All right, that actually works. Wow. Okay, so it is possible to lose. We found a way. It did take us missing that land drop for a bunch of turds. On the draw, again, but uh, this hand's fine. Wormlets with Ozolith, pretty good. Opponent, Battlefield Fjord and Vindictive Flame Stoka. Well, play land, play a wormlet. Pass the turn. Opponent. Reckless Impulse. That is fine. Play with Flare and a land. Opponent goes attacking. Ooh. Well, I think we have to. I think we have to just play Ozolith here. Because we want to grow this worm outside of play with fire range. Opponent needs to spend it, not the play with fire they just exiled if they want to kill it. And then next turn should be pretty good. We can like, oh, we have a lot of options next turn, we'll see. So opponent is kind of incentivized to play with fire something, right? Like you can't just let it go. If they have to spend two removal spells on the worm, we're kind of, we're kind of cool with that. Play with fire face, sure. The worm also gains life, which is not why we're playing it, but it is actually nice against the aggro deck like this. 
Opponent, Reckless Impulse. Sure, 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 sure. Double Questing Druid gets in for one. Uh, we will what? I don't think they're going to be using that yet. So I think what we do here is just play the land, play the worm. Yeah, let's just Glass Casket, get rid of it. Glass Casket, grow our stuff, gain some life. Five ya. And uh, Teething Wormlet. <laughs> Looking like a pretty good magic card. All right, would you like to cast some Druids opponent? Draw those cards, friend. Draw those cards. <laughs> I mean, the problem for our opponent here is, even if they can deal with a worm, we have Dissonant into Ginger Brew to put counters on it and give it haze. So, like, even if they can answer something, I don't think it's enough. All right, so opponent, Pia, Questing Druid. The bad news for our opponent is, we get to play Brushland, and we get to play a Dissident, and we get to play a Ginger Brew and put counters on the ginger brew and grow the worms and also this doesn't oh that does have haste uh sure i mean we'll just attack with everything do what you will friend opponent gonna block and opponent's gonna go to one okay all right opponent goes to one well i guess 21 us pia 21 is if you can <laughs> uh opponent Rens Resolve. I do like the idea of this, just like play all the Rens Resolve decks, but uh, Teething Wormlet might be might be better. Opponent makes a Thopter, sure. I mean, they get to make a bunch of Thopters, and they do actually have haste, so they block the Ginger Brew. So our opponent, I think, actually survives this turn. Although I'm still not convinced they have a very legitimate pathway to winning this game. Uh, Ginger Brew. Counters on the Ginger Brew. Grow the worms. Simeon Simulacrum. Counters on the Dissident. Counters on the Dissident. And swing. And. <laughs> that is the power of Gingerbread Aggro. I do want to try our opponent's deck. I like the idea of the PNLR. There's a Pioneer deck that kind of plays like that. Questing Druid might make it possible in standard. Some sort of like. PNLR Naya play from exile aggro deck. All right, how does our hand look? We're on the draw, but I like this hand. We have we have Skrull for turn one, double patchy, a bunch of artifacts, a opponent, play with Fyasher, and a opponent, a Tuara. Well, play a land and patchy. A opponent gonna draw with Questing Druid. All right. <clears throat> Sure, sure, sure. So opponent's playing looks like Teamer Spell Slinger. Plays the land. They gotta play the faces. Plays the questing druid first. Yup. And there's the faces. Sure, sure, sure. Grows the questing druid. Now play the land. Play a another patchy. And a ginger brew. And hits you for three. Opponent down to 14. The ward two on Patchy is actually pretty good. We'd kind of love to draw land for next turn. That would be our that would be our best draw. So we can double spell. Like Sir Ginger plus Tough Cookie. I guess a one drop would also be fine. Those are the those are the two things we'd like to draw. A one drop or a one drop or a uh, another land. Either one. Opponent. Ancestral anger. Okay. I don't know if they're trying to grow this to play defense or if they're trying to grow this to to go attacking. Giving it trample and then blocking is awkward, but... All right, runs out an otter. But our opponent takes a lot on the... Wow, they're getting in there. Okay, sure. We drop to 12. We draw the land. So play the land. Play Sir Ginger. Grow the dorks. Tough Cookie. Grow the dorks. Attack for nine. Opponent down to four. And all right, opponent. I guess... Kill us if you can. We do have blockers. Opponent. Ancestral Anger. Triggers their stuff. Land. Combat attacks with everything. Um, well, we will... How do we do this? So this is eight. I mean, I guess we just block, block. Do what we can. Monstrous Rage. Wow. Ha! <laughs> All right. Opponent with the perfect hand. All right, that's fair. 
Sometimes, sometimes your opponent, you know, wins a die roll and has a perfect hand. Well, the spell deck looked pretty, uh, pretty good there. That was, uh, that was an impressive hand. Best hand I've seen from a spell slinger deck. This hand has a lot of lands. Way more lands than we were hoping for. Uh, I mean, I guess if there's good news, one of them is a Mirak. So at least I guess we can do something once we run out of action. Oh, God. Even more lands. Well, let's play a tough cookie. And I think we actually just get in with Strelv. It's not not worth protecting anything at the moment. About it. Island, sure. And a Sleep Curse Fairy. Well, we will play a land, turn a food into a 4-4. Hit you for six. And pass the turn. About it. Carpusin Forest. Training rounds. Okay, so that can help our opponent untap the Sleep Gears Fairy. About it passes. Well, play a land. Play a Ginger Brew. Turn a food into a 4 4. Wow, they're going to besage you the food. Okay. I mean, that is that is legal. I guess that's kind of a, a desperation play. Uh, so go to combat, hit you for four down to eight and pass the turn. Well, maybe your opponent can combo off. If you're playing Sleep Curse Fairy and you're not a fairy deck and you're playing Training Grounds, you're almost certainly a combo deck. Let's see if our opponent can actually combo off. Felicia Archaeologist. Sure. Mill some stuff. Whiffs. Uh, we will play Mirex, play Tough Cookie, play Simeon Simulacrum, counters on the Ginger Brew, make it unblockable, and yeah, I think we do it. Let's, uh, let's scrub. Let's get in all the damage we can here. All right, Tough Cookie on blue, hit you to three. All right, opponent. Combo off, my friend. Combo off. I don't think they can. They don't have the right things in the graveyard. They don't have a soul cauldron. I think they just need too many pieces to try to go infinite here. Oh, boon it. <laughs> Scoops it up. And uh, the cookies. A little bit too, a little bit too tough for the combo deck. <laughs> Anyway, that is green white cookies for standard. If you want even more magic, make sure to check out the video about the top 10 standard cards from Wilds of Eldraine, or maybe the one where we try to turn Tiamat into the best giant commander.